Hey folks, Father Sympathic from CG Virus here. Today we're going to create a procedural wrinkle texture for Blender, which you can use as a bump map for your cloth uh, and uh, you know paper-like objects to create some wrinkle effects. And also you can later uh, you know make it as a normal map. So we're going to see how to use it first, and then we're going to see our making of as well. So let's get it started. You can download the texture from here, wrinkle texture I have already downloaded it. The link will be in the description, so you can download it from there. Alright, so let's get it started with the project. So here is a very basic, simple cushion type of object, and uh, it's a very basic material here. So I'm just going to append it, press F4, and append our procedural wrinkle texture here, material, and this is the wrinkle texture. Okay, press append here, and I'm going to search for wrinkle texture. Alright. So there are two output nodes, one is height and one is normal. So if you want to plug directly to the normal, you can do it like this and it will be there. Okay. And if you want to create a bump map, you can create it with bump map and plug the height node here and plug the normal here and uh, go to the distance. Uh, make sure the strength is 1 and distance is 0.01. Okay something like that and it will create the effect for you all right so now let's talk about these things so i have tried to create uh, this is an artistry tool so i have tried to create uh try, try to give um, as much node or as much parameter we can have here so this is the scale okay so you need to modify it a little bit to create your own uh, you know uh, thing here so you need to shape it so this is the scale it will scale it up and scale it down here like this so let's go for 500 here uh, this is the x this is the y and this is the z okay this is the rotation uh how to rotate it here basic and yeah something like that so i want to create something like this type of effect here and this is the z rotation here as well okay you can have it like this I want to create it like this, some kind of distorted uh, this. So this is the rotation center. Where our is our rotation? Um, press shift to create a rotation center. The current rotation is here somewhere. Okay. And you can create some variation from here. Yeah, something like that. And maybe something like this. Yeah, something like that. All right. And this is the ring scale, how much scale it should have. Okay. So you can create something like this as well. Okay. And uh, uh, let's go to the wrinkle detail. I'm pressing shift. And this is the wrinkle detail. The detail will give you the folds, how much fold it should have and how much detail it should have. So this is the dimension, it will create a depth okay depth for your thing so i'm going to use two here and this is the lacunarity that is how much fold you should have so increasing it will give you much more granular result okay so maybe something like this i like 1.07 here feels good all right uh so let's um modify it a little bit to create some kind of interesting pattern here yeah, something like this it will be good here and Z to create uh, some kind of vector here yeah yeah I like this something like this okay let's see if we let's go down a little bit yeah like this it will work or just to showing off something like this yeah so you need to play with it a little bit to create your own effect okay so I have tried to give uh, you know um, as much note we can possibly have here so as much parameter so here we go. It, l it looks uh, pretty much interesting here. So I'm going to go for it. Yeah, something like that. Pretty good. 
All right, so let's see the mask here. So you can see the mask factor here. So what we can do is basically we can create a image texture here. And uh, let's create a new texture. I'm going to name it mask. And uh, everything is okay. So let's see. Let's go to color and let's plug it in here. All right. So let's go to texture paint. And uh, here is our mask. And uh, something like this. So let's turn it off uh, strength a little bit. So it is basically a mask where you can, you know, erase your stuff. There we go. So let's go for some gray here. No, no. Something like that. Uh, let's go for black to reveal. And let's go for white. You can erase uh, some of your fold here. Uh, go for strength. I don't know. Something like this. Alright. Let's go for black. So, you know, so white will erase and black will reveal. Okay. Let's give it a little bit of. There we go. Something like that. All right. You get the point, right? All right. So now let's see another one, uh, which has a normal existing normal map here. So let's see. Yeah. So here you can see that we have already a normal map. Yeah. And uh, we want to work with this layer so let's go for search uh, uh, go for wrinkle and this is the wrinkle texture so what you need to do here is basically you need to create a bump map first let's create a bump map and uh, let's plug it to height and what you need to do is basically plug this normal map here and uh, plug this to normal okay so this is the existing normal and uh, this is our bump and this is the you know this is the connection existing normal to the normal and height to height and here it is so let's go for 0.01 there we go all right so uh you can just modify it a little bit so let's see what we can do let's scale it up a little bit here there we go it's already there yeah and uh, yeah something like that will work there you go let's get it up let's get it down hmm. something like that all right the down of strength you can see the difference there you go. And as usual, uh, you can use mask to mask it out a little bit and etc. etc. So let's see. So this was our parameter 166 and 59 and uh, some kind of parameters like this. <coughs> Working pretty nicely here. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's see how to bake this uh, bump map and uh, things in normal map. So you can see this is the bump we have. And uh, now let's create a image texture here, and let's name it new. And I'm going to create it like number numbic, yeah. And uh, it's a 2K, and uh, it should be a non-color data. So select this, select this, and let's go here. 
you can see that uh, we have UV okay so just go to cycle CPU render one and uh, let's go here normal so this and let's pick it there we go so this is a normal map okay and uh, so let's disconnect this one go for our normal normal map and plug it to color and here is our normal okay all right so let's see uh making off so this is our cushion let's create a new texture and a new shutter now let's create a texture coordinate notch there we go and let's create a vector vector math and uh, it should be uh, multiply and we're going to create uh, it with uh, object there we go and then let's create another multiply here and uh, we're going to multiply it by this guy and uh, it should be 0 0.01 all right and yeah this will be our vector um, manipulator and uh, then we are going to create a vector rotation node that is a vector rotate and uh, <coughs> this vector will go with a connection here and the center and rotation will be there so I'm just going for Julia okay so this is about it so these are the vectors now let's create a mass grave okay and uh, let's connect this to the vector and let's see the height here okay hmm. and what else yeah it should be a uh, multi factual there we go and we have <coughs> Yeah, something like that and let's go for something random here right now so I'm just going for uh, 500 and let's go for 50 and 50 okay and uh, for the rotation I'm going for 45 and uh, 250 and 115 all right and the center I'm going for minus 0.2 zero and minus point two there we go okay and for mm, yeah wrinkle scale so it will be something like three then wrinkle it to five two and point nine something like that okay so this will create our stuff and then we're going to create a mix node <coughs> mix RGB let's connect it to the bottom and uh, then we're going to create an invert node and uh, it will be our factor okay so if it is a bullet it will get this mass setup so this is the mass setup here and actually that is it so if I now go for a bump notch and uh, let's connect it to height distance 0 0.01 and now let's connect it to normal and uh, it will give us something like that okay so it is done actually so now let's tag it let's go for this there you go and control G group <coughs> first thing is scale uh, this will be our scale so let's name it scale scale and now let's go for rotation this will be our rotation and then rotation center so this will be our 
rotation center and then we have wrinkle skill so let's <coughs> join them all here wrinkle skill wrinkle detail wrinkle dimension and wrinkle okay so we're just going to name it as wrinkle let's copy this guy it will be wrinkle detail it will be wrinkle dimension and wrinkle okay that's it and then we have our mask this will be our mask and later we have a factor so this will be our mask fact there we go <coughs> so this is how we can replicate the thing okay there we go Right, so that's it. I'm Father Sympathy from City Virus, and we're going to see you next time. Bye bye.